in and prances through the living room with something in its mouth. And he looks a little closer. He's like, is it a mouse? Is it a rat? What is that? And the cat comes in the middle of the living room and goes, whoop, and just drops this blob in the middle of the living room. He gets down a little closer and realizes, oh, no. That's not a rat. That's not a mouse. That's a bunny. And that's not just any bunny. That's Bonnie's bunny who lives next door. Oh, no. Little Bonnie. Tiny little girl. Little girl with big eyes. Oh, no. It's Bonnie's bunny. Dead in the middle of the living room. What am I going to do? Well, in like any classic guy, we go into fix-it mode, right? Yeah. We're like, okay, I can do this. I can do this. He picks up this on the desk. It's indeed dead. He brings it into the kitchen, sets it into the sink, gets the hose up, and starts to wash Bonnie's bunny down. He puts a little bit of, of soap in there and starts to lather it up because it had dirt and it had teeth marks, it had a little blood dripping on his eyes. And this is just lathering up Bonnie's bunny to try to beautify Bonnie's, Bonnie's bunny. bunny. <laughs> and he gets it to the point where it's it looking much better. It looks a lot like what he remembered Bonnie's bunny looking like. But it's all wet, and it's droopy and gross. So he goes and gets the hair dryer, and he comes, plugs it in, and starts to blow dry while he's beautifying Bonnie's beautifying. Yes, um, Bonnie's bunny. And he gets it all bouncy and fluffy, and makes it look well. But he sits there on the on the dining room table. He's like, "What am I going to do with this now?" So he makes another plan. Middle of the night, he sneaks out of his house, carrying Bonnie's bunny into the back. He goes over to the cage where Bonnie's bunny once was, opens it up, sticks Bonnie's bunny in the cage, plus it up, beautifies it a little bit more. He didn't bring his blow dryer this time, but just kind of does this thing there. Props it up like that, shuts the cage, tiptoes back out of Bonnie's backyard. <laughs> He wakes up in the morning, comes out of the kitchen, he's pouring his money belongs there. coffee, and looks out the window, and he sees a whole group of people gathered around Bonnie's bunny in the backyard. There's his mom, or her mom, and her name is Barb, and uh, <laughs> dad is there, and all the kids, Bobby and Bruce, they're all in the backyard. <laughs> And they're jumping up and down, and they're celebrating, and he goes out trying to figure out what's going on. And he sneaks into the group and just listens in as the mother, Barb, starts to scream and holler and do a Pentecostal dance. It's a miracle! It's a miracle! <laughs> He's he leans in, and he looks, and he hears her say these words, Just yesterday, Bonnie's bunny died, and we buried her over there! <laughs> The very God of the universe is not distant. He's not dormant. He's not dead. He is alive and he fills empty places, these wombs in our life. And he, fill, and he empties tombs in our lives. Maybe you feel like you're buried somewhere in some kind of discouragement or dysfunction in your life. I'm telling you, Jesus is the one who says, come on out. 